is VR. Where have you been, Parrot? Where have you been? Well, I have been doing the odd little video on my other channel, the main Airsoft and Slight Milsim game videos, but I haven't been doing much on the virtual reality side. It's because it's almost finished. As many of you remember from many of my earlier videos, this room was wooden floorboards. Half the wall wasn't finished. It was just in a right mess. So it really didn't make much sense to put the VR kit up and start doing content when there was dust and crap plastering and putting blinds up and doing everything else that's had to go with it. I've even got carpet in now. It's almost, almost civilised like a real house now. Still haven't got the flooring downstairs. SES. Never use SES. I'm going to say no more. Bunch of cowboys. Don't use them. Many things have happened since that time, since I did my last video. What's happened? Oh, I got burgled. Um, what else? I've had to wear glasses at times. Times has, has ticked on since my last video, but I'm keen to get back in. I've also had a few developers from some games saying, here's some keys. Are you still doing it? We haven't seen you about doing any video content. Well, I apologize. I'm kind of back in the fold now, dying to get back into doing some more v VR videos, especially Onward. Love that game. So really, in this video, I'm just going to be doing three games. Three games that... Um, Let's have a look, actually. What have we got in our library here? So I'm going to have a look at... A really quick look. I'm going to have a quick look at Google Earth. Uh, I'm going to have a look at Quiver and Redout. And I may even look at Unseen Diplomacy, purely because last time I played that, it was really cool. But the room wasn't ready. And where my desk was, it was in the way, and it wasn't big enough. So hopefully they've updated that a little bit. I have got some really a slim desk now so that there's a bit more room in here and hopefully we should be all set to jump back into virtual reality. So my name is Paraplays VR. It's good to be back. I hope my subscribers will stick around. There's lots of other people doing these content videos now, but with all my videos, I will tell you the truth. If it's shit, I will tell you. It doesn't matter whether the developer gave me a free key or whether I bought it myself. If it's turd, I'll tell you and we'll flush it together. Don't waste your time with it. Just the way it is. A lot of people uh, are out there, you know, they bum lick a little bit. And one thing you'll never, ever see on my thumbnails, on my videos, is things like this. So I'm not going to be jumping around like a leprechaun. I'm not going to be putting stupid thumbnails up going, uh, uh, pathetic, I hate all that bullshit. I'm a grown man, so it's a bit of an adult channel. I'm not saying there won't be any Yorkshire humour thrown in there. Pfft, funny. You get the idea. But anyway, enough waffle. Let's jump in and have a look at the first one. And the first one will be, well, I'll decide that once I jump in. Good to be back. <laughs> okay, and so here we are in Google Earth. Much talked about and something that I really did want to try. Quite frustrating when uh, people are saying it's really cool and you haven't got your VR headset up. And... Google Earth, there we are, and you can see it's actually loading up the entire planet, and we're at 50%, and just standing here, this is really, really quite incredible. Um, now, as many of you know, I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to the blurriness of the vibe and the resolution, and I really shouldn't keep going on about that because we know there is nothing that can be done currently tech-wise until the next generation comes out, HTC Vive 2, etc. But even out into the distance here, there is a little bit of the screen door effect, but it's not that much for the amount of distance that we're actually looking at here. And barring the actual, you know, if I could get rid of the sides of the Vive and somebody plonked me here and I wasn't looking at the Google sign and I looked out, I could almost be stood on a real place. I know that's on staff because this is a real place. But obviously at the minute we are probably, what, 10,000 times bigger than we should be because there's a main road coming through here. But what I'm talking about is the actual... This could quite easily be somewhere at this scale and I'm stood there. It really does look fantastic. A Milky Way there which I actually saw in Australia when I went backpacking, and it's not like we see the stars in the UK. It was like that. Fantastic. So let's click Start to the Welcome Tour. And here on our buttons, as you can see, Start Tour. Now, I couldn't get it to actually... Whoa, I couldn't get it to go into full screen for you. Anki's National Park, Utah. So that's where we are at the minute. 
as you can see the sun is rising and if this is actually based off Google Maps currently that anybody can use then the technology that they've done to turn it into virtual reality is absolutely incredible this really is fantastic oh my god oh my god this now now this is impressive yes some of the buildings look kind of low res down here obviously because they're having to use height maps but oh my god look at look how full Tokyo is it's almost like this is this is jaw jaw dropping do you know why I have this deep philosophical okay I can't even speak I mean like this, this this like the beauty of earth like david attenborough oh my god and then you look at somewhere like florence and that and you just think we humans we're like a virus we spread everywhere across this beautiful <laughs> oh, it actually looks like it goes down my eyes are almost watering i feel emotional this is just This is what virtual reality is all about. This is incredible. Of course, I can walk around this environment. As you can see, it doesn't get close to loading new graphics maps. So that's Yosemite Valley. I just wish you people could see what I'm seeing right now. Sun. It's almost like I can almost see the ozone here. Fantastic. This is just really... Whoa, my God. I actually thought like I was going to fall in. This could be, with no irony, no joking aside, this could be one of the best implementations I've seen of virtual reality. I am really, really... <laughs> uh, oh. It, th that's that was almost like the beginning of a David Attenborough film. That is incredible. Learn to explore. Okay. Ah, to drag the earth, pull the trigger. Oh, a little bit of dizziness there. Oh, look at that. Dark side. To fly to a place, press up or down. Okay. So where's the UK? There's South America. There's Italy. So we're under the clouds somewhere. There we are. So I press to fly. Whoa! Wow, 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 wow. And there's Leeds. Let's go and have a look at Leeds. <laughs> and there's the first arena. And to walk on the earth, tilt it down. Are oh, you a joking? We can actually walk on it. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> but before I get carried away, where's my. You want to be looking at my back all the time. Where's the. Let's go and have a look at. The first direct arena. So. And there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Leeds. And while it loads a little bit more of the higher res, there's the arena. And it's 
is loading in. Of course, it's going to be, you know, slightly low res because they're basing this off satellite uh, images. But as you can see, it is actually loading in more and more high res images as we get in. I mean, this is incredible. Because you, get, you actually know where these roads are. There's the dual carriageway that comes round. So the train station should be down there. In fact, we can probably follow it as we come from the arena. In fact, what's that building? I don't recognise that in Leeds. Isn't that amazing? I'm actually discovering places in Leeds that I've never actually been before. And here's the dual carriageway. I'm trying to think where I am now. Where the train station is. Get me bearings. Is that the Mirian Centre? No, it's not the Mirian Centre. Wow, I'm lost. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? There's the dual carriageway. The train station is over there somewhere, I think. Well, do you know what? Let's... Let's fly over and have a look. Now, that's the DSS... DSS building. Look at these little UFOs here. That's the DSS building there. So the train station must be that way. Let's... Whoa! Whoa! That feels weird! Whoa! <laughs> that feels weird. And there's the train station. We found it, so we weren't that far away. It's there. My God, how far can we go down? You're joking! We can actually... Obviously, this is going to be a pixel hell um, until it starts to load in the new ones. Um, but... The technology here really is quite impressive. I This is... Obviously, at this sort of scale, it's fantastic. In fact, what's that park? I don't recognise that park in the Central Leeds. Oh, this forest. So this is just... Uh, I'm gobsmacked with this. What's this? Show the menu. Florence, Monument, Rio de Janeiro. What else have we got on here? Hollywood, Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, we're going to have a look at that in a minute. So these ones that are, that are sort of preset in. Uh, but I think, actually, you can actually go where you want at any place. Um... Oh, let's go and have a look at Big Ben. Got to, haven't we? It only seems right. I, I, this... I'm going to have to keep saying this again. This is just incredible. I mean, I... I obviously, for you guys, it's going to be a double... A double... A double image. But that... Big Ben, it is probably 15 foot high and it's in front of me. Yeah, and again, the resolution isn't there, but this is, again, based on... But from here, beautiful. Quarter past two. This is really, really impressive. I, I It's not often I'm that speechless in virtual reality, but this is... Let's fly up like Superman. I mean, just look at it all. <laughs> I'm going to point my hand up in the air like Superman and fly straight up. It's... Oh, we'll have a look at one more. And then... and then to, Oh, to change the time of day, drag the sun. You're joking. Where's the sun? All right, let's go back down again. Oh my giddy aunt. Look at. I. I... <laughs> One more, and then otherwise I could spend all day in here. This is this is ridiculous. Uh, Mount Fuji, because I love Japan. Ay, 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 where's the... Uh... Jeez. 
shit. Oh, this is ridiculously amazing. But anyway, guys, this is is to say the place all the step on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels like I'm actually touching the sides here. If you've ever wanted to try virtual reality and you've got friends who are going to come around and try this, I this has to be one of those demos where you've got to put them on and let them try this. Uh, this really is incredible and it really is a, a, a shining light for the future of the technology. This is fantastic. In fact, I may just end this video here and, and I'll do some more videos at a future time. But in the meantime, I've been Paraplays VR. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I have in here. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculously amazing. Uh, I shall see you in another video coming real soon. Let me just get that. Where's the camera? If I, if you ever don't see or hear from me again, you'll know it's because I'm lost in the matrix, the void of Google Earth. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video coming real soon. Wow. Bye-bye. <laughs>